They still check your ticket to go down there. I'm like, wouldn't you want everyone to be like con anyway? In, in in camera view. Yes. So when you when the camera pans by, it doesn't look like a JV high, you know high school football game or something. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that the show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready. Let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Yes, once again. Actually, once again. Actually, once again. <laughs> we had a uh, technical too. Recording kerfuffle, if you will. I don't know what happened. It just uh, dropped off, but uh, we were going to do the thing where we were talking about the show, talking about something that would be good for the show, some, some funniness, which is usually mm. what happens here. Um, yeah. But, but last the week, uh, the little pregame, and then so now we just press record this time, which is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. You know, a couple reps, a couple more reps never hurt us, right, Cern? No. And uh, Xfinity we had an outage last week, so we were on the fritz. Uh, and summertime's here, so it's 90 something here. And uh, we got a Costco 25 foot slip and slide industrial. They even industrial. advertised that you can hook multiple <laughs> together. Make your own freaking monster. <laughs> and then a big splash pad for the, for the kids. Um, and then we're driving home and they're like, we're in a severe drought. Please limit water usage. I'm like, okay. As I'm just watching water just like pour down my lawn. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, the cops are going to come and shoot me. You should, you should run your neighbor's house. Just run it up there. Like, it's not me. I swear. <laughs> just, have, just get a hundred footer and just hook it up. And then just it's going across the street to ours. That would be, that would be pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But, uh, you know, anyway. Oh, you want um, those bikes? Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, it was, must be a, we weren't even here. We were out of town. No, we were up no in, uh, I was seeing CERN up in Folsom. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, after the day, the neighbor, some of the neighbor kids came up. So they were playing. It was a whole thing in the front yard, which was great. Oh. And all the parents just kind of hung it's in the shade. It was great. It had a couple, had had a beer, just hanging out in the shade, had the tunes going. It, kids exhausting themselves fully which is like the goal of the weekend is like how how much can you drain your kids before bedtime? Not yes. too much so that they have meltdowns yeah, early. Yeah. It's like a... It's, 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 like a, a, it's the razor's edge. Yeah. It's the razor's edge. And so when they're done, they just go inside and then everything is left out. And then, you know, as this uh, responsibility usually falls on the dad for some reason yeah, to for tidy up, yep. up and clean up. So I'm cleaning up and everything. I turn on my, throw on some Almond Brothers on the Sonos, pump it up, listening. Okay, I'm going along. All of a sudden, I hear at the corner of my eye, I see a, like a bright flash and this huge boom. I, I thought it was like a gunshot or something. And I, look, I fucking ducked. I was like, oh, shit, what, oh, what shit. the fuck was that? that? And I looked up because we have a power pole right oh. in our front yard of our property basically and i look up there because that's where the noise came from and i see a few feathers <laughs> fluttering down oh. to the ground <laughs> oh no <laughs> a blue jay had gotten a little too close to the transformer and fucking blew it up oh. so the power was out for our entire block literally all the way down looking down the street Every neighbor walked out of their house and was just like looking up at our house. And I'm like, hi. It's not me. It's not, not me. me. Not my problem. Not, I mean, it's everyone's problem. Not my fault. That's <laughs> what I was yeah, trying to yeah, say. Yeah. So then we got a message from Comcast saying, oh, there's been an outage reported in your area. I'm like, yeah, no shit. It's fucking yeah, Blue Jay. Thanks. And the Blue Jay was stuck up there still. He was like lodged in and PG&E had to come out. And I'm like, all right, kids, let's get in the car. We're going to dinner. Because it was like six o'clock. Okay, and you know it doesn't take much on the weekends to to push over the going out to dinner thing. Yeah, so you're like, ah, I could have, I could have got a lighter and lit the stove and totally done it, but I'd rather have a beer and had a nice Impossible Burger at Gott's. Right in in, in an air conditioned. Uh, yes, yeah, I didn't want to deal with 
explaining to the kids that literally everything they love and enjoy, like the TV or air conditioning or whatever, is just not functioning because power's out. Yeah, they can't comprehend that. They just can't. And then they pepper you with, oh, well, what about the fan? Nope. Plugs in. Yeah. What about the iPad? I'm like, iPad would work until that runs out of battery, but it can't go on the internet. So it's yeah, 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 kind of useless. Well, how Basically long is useless. it going to be? I don't know. My, my crystal ball is out of commission at the moment. I'll let you know when it boosts back up with the power. So <laughs> it was about a two-hour fix for us. But that was the second Xfinity Comcast outage that we've had in like three or four days. And then on Monday, we're in the office, and it goes on the fritz again. And I'm like, that's it. I got a call. I, I've reached my limit. I got a call in. So they, you know, they don't let you just call. They hide the number from you. You have to go through oh, their chat assistant. Verizon does this too. You, they don't, it's not even public. It's like it's, it's top secret. I, seriously, like what are these, the fucking nuclear launch codes? No, I just buried, want to talk yeah, to somebody. It's, it's buried in the Ark of the Covenant, you know, like the end of the fucking uh, <laughs> Indiana Jones. And so I, I type it. Now I go, go to the Googles. Customer service phone number. There's a site called pisscustomers.com and it has all this, all the phone numbers listed. I'm like, bookmark this thing because I'm coming back to pisscustomers.com. Send it my way. Yeah. (laughs) So I call in. They make you, oh, would you like to try resetting? I'm like, I've fucking reset my modem 10 times. I'm not doing it again. Well, it's part of the process. We can't proceed without it. And then they give you all the rigmarole and I have to be up front. I'm like, listen. I need a, I need some credit. This is what yeah. I'm coming here for. I need some credit back. So I I wasted 27 minutes on the phone once I got to yeah. talk to somebody to get twenty dollars back. Uh, dollar, a little less than dollar a minute. Yeah, I, I'm afraid. You know, it probably would have been a better, wiser investment working for those 20 minutes. But I also didn't feel really like doing that either. So no, no. Like that it throws you off. No. <laughs> and I need it was a more of a principled thing. And yeah, they're really, that's what it is. It's always, usually that's with me. It's like, it's yeah. been some for a while. They're very, uh, you'll get this too. Thank you for being such a loyal customer since, you know, checks notes. Oh, nine, you know, 2009 or whatever. Yeah. And I'm, they're like, thanking me for being a loyal customer. And I'm like, not by choice. Yeah. I have no <laughs> other choices. I'm forced. My loyalty is forced to Xfinity. It is. It's... <laughs> I made sure I'm not they brand know. loyal. I'm just uh, stuck with it. I made sure they know, and I, you know, I, I, I kind of feel bad because at some, it's not the customer service representative's fault that the company no. she works for is, you know, it's garbage, horrible. It's just, it's just her job, and she's just trying to do it to the best of her. Well, I don't know about that, but they're just yeah. trying to do their job. Just Maybe not job to the, like everybody else. Anyway, just like everybody else, just like us. just like everyone else. So they refresh signal, unplug, wait a minute. But what I did really enjoy was them going, "Okay, so we're going to need to restart your modem. It should only be down for like five or ten minutes." I said, "Well, my my partner's in a meeting right now. I think she'll be done in like fifteen minutes. So we're just going to have to wait for a little bit." She's like, yeah. "Okay." So I put the Comcast people on fucking hold. Booyah! Booyah! One more <laughs> Oh, uh, hi, just checking in. Yeah, it's going to be about a few more minutes, so uh, thanks. And so I go in, and I'm I'm basically just tired of waiting, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, go to my phone. I'm like, oh, when, how, how long are you going to be done? She's like, oh, I'm on my why uh, hotspot for my phone. I, I'm not even on the internet. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Could have just... Anyway. Yeah, sound off, sound off. That one makes sense. So uh, $20, $20 richer. Twenty dollars saved is twenty dollars earned. Is that how that goes, Cerny? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what dollar amount would have um, appeased me more. I like six a months month credit. Yeah, <laughs> so at least half a, a year free. free. Give, give me the month. Give me the month. Give me. A I've earned it. I've earned it. So I have one. I so we moved in and we have two thermostats in this house. Oh, oh! There's one in like the hallway, and there's one in the master bedroom. Mm. So I replaced the one in the hallway with the Eco B. Is this uh, the yes. new? You're not on the Nest game anymore, or it's the same thing, just a different brand? Just a different brand, yeah. Is it the part of your part of the Alexa family? 
Uh, it works with it, so yeah, so, oh. I think so. Yeah, I mean, so did Nest too, but um, so I replaced it. Mm-hmm. But boom, no problem. But then the other one is like the old Honeywell, like the white brick oh, with the my, little dial. The know. little dial in there, you got a dial. No, it. it had like the up and down digital thing, but it was oh. it was just, and they had all these. I don't know what the fuck they had. They had all these schedules. They had like a million schedules. It was it was weird. The thing would like go up and down. It was like it was oh, like counteract I mean, for like a hot flash or something. I guess it was one. ten they minutes. Had ton, they had tons of them. Like by day, it was fucking weird. Oh my god! And I was like, oh, all right, well, I'm replacing it. I'm replacing it with the with the other Eagle B. So we got another Eagle B. Hook it all up, plug it in. No power. I was like, fuck. I was like, huh. So I pull it out and I'm like, let me check the wires. No, they're right. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. Dude, my fucking eyes closed. Plug it in again. Nothing. I was like, huh. Hmm. So I call EcoB and the guy's like, oh, you know, and I said, I explained him what it was. Well, first he goes, hi, my name is Sean. I was like, oh, hey, my name. My name's Sean too. He's like, oh, okay, cool. So we go through the whole thing. He's like, well, you need a zone board because you have two thermostats. So you need a zone board because it's going back and forth. I said, I didn't install the second one. It was already here. Hmm. You're just swapping. Just swapping. So if two can already work as is, why couldn't a yeah. double swap work? And he double was saying, no, because the other one has batteries. It's what he's whatever it was. I was like, whatever. I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll, I said, I'll figure it out later. I'll just put the old one back on for now. And Okay, so I put the old one back on. Plug it in. No power. I was like, what the fuck? Oh. And I so walked to the other. It's not working so at all. The, I walked to the other the other thermostat. No power. And I was like, oh, fuck. Why? I was like, well, maybe I popped the. Yeah. Breaker. The breaker. Because I didn't. I don't turn the power off when I do this. Because it's a low voltage. So what is it? You could touch the wires. It doesn't hurt. So. Balls. Yeah. Was, yeah. It's ballsy. But I've done it before. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. So I go over there. Nothing. Everything's on. So I, I, just, I flip it on and off. You know, whatever. So yeah. I call it. So I call it back, and I get uh, Pablo this time. Hmm. Right? No, Pierre. It was Pierre. Oh, French. But he was talking. I was like, "Didn't I just talk to you? Weren't you Sean a minute ago?" Oh yeah, I did help you. What? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes. <gasps> He has different aliases. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! So I, was like, I was like, I was like, didn't I talk? Didn't I just talk to you? Weren't you Sean? I mean, he's like, oh yeah, I did help you. I was like, okay, well, whatever, whatever your name. It doesn't matter. We'll call you. We'll call you Pierre this time or whatever it was. It was weird, but so we go through the thing. That's like, okay, so we have trouble step. Yeah, so he's like, all right, pull it all out. Connect this wire to this wire. Does, it, does the heater come on? No. Does the you know, this wire to this wire, red wire to yellow wire? Does the AC come on? I said no. He's like, that's not good. I was like, hey, you're telling me. So like we do all these troubleshooting steps, nothing. It's like fuck. He's like, you have to go in the attic. We got to maybe we blew a fuse in the furnace, and it's an easy fix. You just swap the fuse out. Mm-hmm. So I go up in the attic, and it's like 150 degrees up there because oh hottest. my, God. it was the hottest day of the week. <sighs> Dude, so the second you get up there, you just immediately just start feeling the beads of sweat just start rolling down yeah, your face yeah. and you're fucking yeah. pitting. Like, or pits pitting. I was like, oh, yeah. my God. Brutal. I was like, fuck. So I was up there and I'm trying to find it. And I have my like light, you know, because it's up there. Yeah. Granted, but when I when I was leaving the attic, when I was done up there, I saw there's a light switch, but it's behind you. you know, I had to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you know. Yeah. Now you know at least. But anyway, so I was up there and we're like, okay, so we'll do this. So we'll, we'll have to switch the furnace, you know, switch the fuse out. It's blown. I said, no, it's not. The fucking status still says green. So it'll say green because it's connected. He's like, goes to this whole thing. And I was like, oh, I'm this guy's you. a furnace expert all of a sudden? No, nah, no. Nah. I was like, I'm telling you, it says it's green. It's status good. He's like, no. So whatever. I go down to Lowe's. It's like three bucks for a fuse. So I go get a fuse, go back up, switch it, come down, no power. I was like, fuck, hmm. son of a bitch. And that point, I was like, uh, fuck it. I got to call somebody. So we call AC unit and the guy, oh, well, boy. first, like, yeah, we have somebody, we'll have somebody call you. Okay. Never going to call that night. It's hot as fuck. 
the, the AC obviously doesn't work now because the thermostats don't work. So it's hot as hell in the house again. I was like, oh, fuck. I know. I was like, great. The troops are getting restless. Yeah. Yeah. I just made Did it. Did you really way. need to have to buy the new Bumblebee <laughs> thermos? <laughs> Did you really need to switch it out right now? Were you getting these? Oh, I uh, yeah, like, what what happened? If I knew, then we wouldn't be in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> so then the next day, still don't have a call from those people. I was like, fuck. So I just called somebody else. He's like, yeah, we can be out there like twelve thirty. He comes out, told him what's going on. He's like, okay. He goes up there. He goes up in the attic. He's up there for five minutes. He comes down. He goes. You know, there's a transformer that, that carries all the power to your thermostats. I said, yeah. He says, it's dead. I said, did I blow it? He said, it's old. So when you put the new, the new stuff draws in a little more power uh, to I run. Couldn't handle so it. you had, you know, you had one, which was fine. And the other one was probably just using battery backup. But when you swatched the other uh, one, it just it was too much for it. I was like, well, he said I need a zone board. He goes, you have a zone board. You have two. I said, that's what I fucking told that guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bumblebee thermostat. Uh, but anyway, how much did your transformer set you back? It was three fifty five. Three hundred fifty five bucks. Yeah, I was like, oh fuck! What a kick in the dick! I know, and it really was. It wasn't. I've seen the transformers, like the doorbell transformer. I'm gonna have to probably replace. Yeah, that loves. Like- that loves. It's like twenty five bucks. I was like, I bet you it's somewhere similar to that. It looks similar when you pull it out of his truck. I was like, hmm. I'm sure it's just the How long did it take to swap it? Like 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, at, at best. He's probably over for a total of 30 minutes. And like 15 of it was him just waiting for everything to boot back up and make sure we got cold air out of it. And he left. <laughs> probably smoked a cigarette in your attic. Just up there just <laughs> ripping a heater, just trying to kill more time. <laughs> the billion. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got it going, blowing, blowing cold air and all that good blowing stuff. Blowing cold air. Got everything going. Nice. Okay. Well, that's good. And you got your spa hooked up. That's running. That's running. It's swell. Bring the swimsuit over, sir. I think the water's like, I've been fighting. It's it's 90 degrees. I keep trying to drop it, but the sun, you know. Yeah. Nature will have its way. I was thinking about before everyone comes over, I'm just going to dump like a 20-pound bag of ice. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we need a we need like a ice recovery uh, bath. A soak. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like we just threw a threw a couple of innings. Oh fuck! Speaking of throwing innings, uh, last week um, I uh, me and me and a couple buddies we went to the Mariners A's game at oh. the Oakland Coliseum, aka Ring Central Ballpark. <laughs> Ring Which, Central. What the fuck is even Ring Central? That's some JV level uh, sponsorship <laughs> on your stadium right there, for sure. <clears throat> like, I don't know how much that cost them, but it couldn't have been much. Nor have they found rats in the fucking soda machines. <laughs> yeah. So we go there. And the reason uh, my, my buddy, who's a Dodgers fan, you know, we'll just talk about that another time. Everyone has their faults. And then my other, my other buddy, who's a Mariners fan and Rams fan, ha- uh, horns up, of course, What's hashtag that? Ramily. Is this, we went is to this the, Dodger fan? Is he like a 49er fan? By, by, uh, he's also a Rams fan, though. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's okay. fine. So he's there's some, so like, there's if, some he's a, if he's a Dodger slash Niner fan, that is the worst human being. Just, I, don't, I don't even understand how that combo happens. But uh, uh, I, don't think he's a, I don't think he's a Niners fan. Okay. And we went there because basically we're trying to sit behind the dish you know, five rows back, you know, smell the umpire's fucking jockstrap if you need, if you want for mm, 40 bucks, basically. So we go there. It's hot as fucking balls. It's 92, 93. We get there. We're sitting full sun, mm-hmm. shorts, T-shirt. We, uh, one of my buddies brought sandwiches. And then my other buddy who I picked him up got a bunch of beer. So we're just out in the parking lot having sandwiches and beer a little tailgating listen, action. Listen, little hat, listen to some music, having some seeds. I, you know, I don't, not very often I'm having seeds. It's, I actually uh, quit them for a little bit, but I'm back on the horse. And uh, <laughs> so we're, we're, we're having seeds. Oh, my, my cheek was raw by the end of the day. We, we killed like an entire oh, bag yeah. of the jumbos. Oh, no. 
The jumbos yeah. are are where it's at for seats. It is. It is. The stupid yeah. Davidson with the little ones that splinter as soon as you guys. Uh... <laughs> no, I'll, I'll pass on Davids. I don't need. I don't need seats that bag. Jumbos. Let me ha- let me add them. Yeah, swing swing. <clears throat> so we literally just st- walk right into the park, go to our seats, and you know the Oakland Coliseum is. The A's are trying to spend absolutely bare bottom dollars as possible. They have cut almost everything. Uh, like every me. third, you know, there's like uh, the doggy diner. There's uh, the pizza place. There's the every third store is closed. Like they don't even open the third, every third fucking concession stand because, you know, there's 2,000 people at the game. Yeah. They're very strict. They still check your ticket to go down there. I'm like, wouldn't you want everyone to be like con anyway? In, in in camera view. Yes. So when you when the camera pans by, it doesn't look like a JV high, you know high school football game or something. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> so we go we go there. We get another beer. They have these. Um, they basically have three huge fridges that have tons of tall can beers in them, and then there's a. Uh, cashier less system that's basically a camera and you set your drinks on there and it scans it like knows what it is it can scan it and then you just okay. pay with your apple pay or whatever so you don't have to interact with anybody okay wow they're they really <laughs> they're really yeah they're really pulling back go to take a leak i forgot they have the big horse trough stalls. Oh, no. oh i forgot about those yes so it's like dongs out for everyone which you know whatever washing your hands there's no fucking paper towels in the whole there's eight there's seven paper towel holders no oh, paper they're towels. all out wow okay they whatever lay, they, they lay off the janitor too it's, it's in the first them? inning it's in the first <laughs> inning i'm like so, so these are clearly never even stocked so we go down there and we sit and we have shorts on and the seats are just like been cooked in the sun since oh, yeah. the sun hey, r- came up my fucking like the bottom of my ass was like burnt from the how hot the seat was immediately just start pit and sweating. Yep, yep. And we look in the row. We're the only people in the row. There's probably twenty seats there. So we go every other, you know, get you know, if it's hot, you kinda it's nice to get a little spread so your yeah. balls aren't sticking to your fucking thigh. You they yeah. can kind of have a little yes. bit of a little ball soup. Yeah, a little ball you know. So we're doing there, we got a beer, we got more seeds, and we're just hanging out and enjoying the game. And uh, the sky, the sky comes up, and we're we have seats ten, eleven, and twelve, or some shit like that, right? Yeah. But again, there's no one in this row. So he walks up, and he kind of gets close to us, and he goes, "Hey, you guys are in my seats. We're sitting in eight, nine, and ten, something like that, right?" And we're like, "Okay, uh, what do you have?" And so we we kind of like we we move over some where we're supposed to be sitting. He's like, "No, that that's my seat too." Like, he has a friend or someone else coming is what he's insinuating. Okay. So he sits down there, and literally, I'm looking to the right of him. There's six empty seats. I'm like, you couldn't have just... Why you got to make us fucking move? And then so we're moving after two innings to another fresh set of boiling lava hot fucking seats that have just been baking in the sun. Again, so I have to re-singe my ass when I'm sitting down there. Sweating my fucking balls off. He's there for fucking two innings. This other person never shows up, and then he just leaves. Oh, my God. Well, so if fans like that, they get what they deserve. <laughs> yeah. You get what you deserve. And then I was sort of telling a story to my, to my buddies, and then from a couple seats down, he, goes, he like looks over and he like chimes in. I'm like, We're not t- I'm not talking to you. Yeah, wait a minute. You're not in this you were conversation. Two innings ago, you yes. lost all rights to be buds over here, right? And so it's about the fourth inning, and we just look at each other and we're like, "It's hot as fuck." Like, you want to get up in the, you know, in the shade and walk around, take a leak. So we're like, "Okay, let's do that." So we end up standing up there, just kind of like peering our head down the, down the aisle because it's nice and shady. There's breeze. My buddy goes, "Oh my god, you're pitting!" I literally had fucking pit sweat almost like to my nipple. Oh, there you go. I was like, yeah, this is yeah. Cerny caliber pit sweat yeah. right here going yeah. on. I can do that easy. And we're sitting there talking to the person, the usher. They're like, oh, we have a, a shade sun policy. 
I'm like, what does that mean? She goes, well, if you buy seats and they're in the sun, if there's room in the shade, you can just go sit there. There's, I'm, I'm sure like, there's plenty of room in that stadium. There was plenty of room. So we just found ourselves a couple other seats and we're sitting in the shade. We're like, this is so much. <laughs> it's like, this is great. And you didn't. It's a good uh, game. Too bad you didn't see the little Mariners and Angels dust up. That would have oh. been, been some excitement. That was, I sent you the, the John Boy breakdown of that. It's about 15 minutes of your time. But if you're a baseball fan and you love a, some John Boy and you love baseball, I highly recommend investing 15 minutes. It was yeah. top notch. Because yeah, he breaks top it down from career. like, you know, from the start, basically like three days beforehand where yes, you know, it starts from there and then it brews on from, you know, festers for a few more days and then, and then mm-hmm. the explosion. And then he's lip reading, and he's pretty spot on with the lip reading. It's not the bad NFL. No, uh, uh, that one's stuff. funny. That one's funny, but this one's like more accurate feeling in terms yeah. of uh, the lip reading. But um, yeah. And I look up, and I'm like, oh, there's a lot of zeros on there. We're in about the sixth inning. And I look up, and I'm like, hmm. And I just kind of look at my other buddy. And we we know baseball. And I'm like, are you? Do do we all see what's happening here? You I don't, don't want to. You don't, don't want to say it. I'm not trying to say anything. And before the game, we're like, "How how long you want to stay?" I I'm not invested in these teams. I'm just looking to hang out with my buddies, have yeah, some seeds, yeah. have some beer. We'll go home whenever. But now we got a little something going, a little something, something, little no no action, a little no no. I've never seen a no no. I I haven't either. I'd be there for the no no. I don't care who's sewing it. I I want to see I, it. I think my dad saw a no-no. It was when Sean Manaya threw it for the A's a couple years ago. He was oh. there. He was just there, too. Same thing. Just and randomly. Was, yeah. And uh, and so I'm I'm going, and we're sitting there. I'm like, okay. And the game's going by quick. And then one of my other buddy, the Mariners. Face. So the Mariners are throwing the no-no. He goes, oh, there's a no-hitter going right now. And I'm like, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jinx alert. Jinx alert. Mm. Then another inning later, spoiled. Got first, spoiled. You should, first time? <laughs> <laughs> so after pretty much after that hit, I'm like, all right, you guys ready to go? All right. Okay. Like, yeah. Time for me let's the old, get out of here. Trail. Then, yeah, let's hit the old trail. And then we blast it on home. But um, it was a good time. I think uh, the A's... Stay is probably a little bit better for the take the kids. There's just less hustle and bustle. It's more chill and relaxed because there's hey, no fans. nobody there. <laughs> yeah, there's no one there to compete with for anything. So probably just walk right up to Thumper or whatever the fucking elephant's name is. And um, oh, the white elf. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever his name is. I didn't. I don't even think he was out. He wasn't out in the sun. They kept him uh, <laughs> hidden. Yeah. Or, or, or did, the, did the management uh, is he stuffed? Just gonna roll him around? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't want to pay an actor fucking... <laughs> fifteen bucks an hour. Just gonna... They're like, oh, we sold as Tusk or the one to make some new pianos. Uh, so they dismantled the the thing and they took his Tusk. <laughs> Are they? They they stuffed in a Chuck E. Cheese, to, you know, robot. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sold a, a secondhand uh, stuffed elephant suit over. But um, it was a good time. We will be. We will try to go back because I do want to see the Angels, particularly uh, if Otani's pitching, because that seems to me like a once in a lifetime type of player. Yeah, yeah, he is uh, pretty good. I, I, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't really scrapping the other day. I, I saw that his people no. were like, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. That's a <laughs> gold, pe- gold, golden yeah. arm kid. You stay yeah. right back here. They're like you just and Trout. They should have, you know, some coaches like yeah, you know, like yeah, they have the, they have the, the get back player. coach or whatever it is in football where they have a coach that falls coaches like pulls them back when they get into oh excited. so he doesn't get a penalty for yeah being on for, the field on or the field yeah so yeah. they should have like little get back coaches for a brawl the Rams the Rams coach definitely he needs like two people he had one he's, I think. He's, he, he had one yeah what is the rule with that in the NFL. Is you can't be on the on the field or something? Or yeah, you can't be on the field to play. Oh, okay. When the ball snapped, or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, so if he was going out there before the yeah, was, like the okay. play's still going on, he's like chasing it and throws and runs on the field. Then yeah. It's 12, yeah. Oh. 
don't need those penalties. That'd be kind uh, of chicken yeah. shit. Like his foot hits the line. They're like, oh, throw the flag. I'm like, hey, fuck. Yeah, they're yeah. like, they're like on there. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> stack oh, cast. Broke the plane. Stack that. Broke the plane. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking of StatCast, I was texting you this because, uh, as you know, we have a baseball, Little League baseball diamond literally at the end of our block mm-hmm. at the school that my daughter goes to. And uh, every once in a while, I'm like, do you want to go watch the game? So I was telling her a little bit about it. And she goes, uh, do you have your wallet? Mm-hmm. Because like she knows do. that the snack bar, That's the snack shack. The snack bar, they have oh, nachos or snow cones or some shit. Pops yeah, so, I mean, pretty solid lineup for the Snack Shack. And last time we were watching a game, we uh, somebody gave us some seeds. So I was showing her how to do the seeds. It was a cool, I was a cool uh, father-daughter experience. I'm like, oh. And trying to explain baseball to somebody who doesn't know about it, Impossible. you realize the craziness that the game is on why it's so hard to understand. Because there's always like a, but if this is, yes. you know, it's always a but if. Yes. So there's all this stuff. So she got one of these, basically like a gate, like someone makes like a Gatorade Otter Pop, essentially. It's like, oh, a electrolyte frozen pop. Like just, it's Gatorade, frozen yeah. Gatorade yeah. in a yeah. popsicle form. That's oh, what oh. it is. So she got that. I got a bag of seeds. <laughs> what? The electrolytes. electrolytes. I, I, I know. Yeah. And so uh, we're sitting there, and I. This is ten year old and under. So we're talking Ooh, like, what fourth, grade are you at? Grade. At ten. Fourth, fourth, fourth grade. grade. Yep. And I'm sitting there, and there's the the kind of the mom that's keeping the scorebook. Uh-huh. And then there's somebody else that has the pitch count thing. Like multiple people have all these different jobs. And then the coach comes over. Big old, you know, you can tell he's he's trying to li- relive his miss, his youth through his kid. Yeah. And he's got the book. He's like, okay, who who's keeping track of opposing pitch counts? Because opposing. Of, oh, so they ran out of pitches or whatever, right? Yeah, there's some pitch count thing. He's like, I'm... He keeps the book. He's the third base coach, but he keeps the book at third base. He's a scorekeeper? I'm like, dude, the, he's, the co- he's the head coach, but he's like, he has a, like a scorebook and he's also like writing at third base. And then he does these signs. So this is one team and they're talking. And then there's another app on the phone that controls the scoreboard. Hmm. But they give it oh, to some kid, cool. some like 12 year old kid. And then, of course, it's not real time. So people are shouting for various things. Oh, he has he actually has 42 pitches, not 38. Um, is this vitally important right oh now that we, God. like, get the most fucking accurate? And the, t- the kid is like, oh, how do you do? I'm like, just fuck. Oh, no. So that was one team. Then the other team was maybe either they're more well-to-do or their coaches were more fucking gung-ho for it, but they had, the coach had a, like an index card, like an NFL quarterback would have. And he's standing at third base and he goes, yellow zero, yellow zero. And then the batter has a sweatband with like the plays on it, I guess. Then the first base coach has one too. I'm like, these kids are 10. And they got to have all these fucking saber metrics shit going on. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, why don't we just focus about throwing strikes, catching the ball, see, and throwing to first? That's the thing. See, so you have these coaches that do all this extra shit. You know, it's, it's unnecessary. Because like, I, I remember when Zach was playing, and I had to be part of. The, I had to be the official scorekeeper because his wife was was going to do it, but then. She used this app that did it, but then when you know, you know, in baseball, every so often there's there's some kind of weird play. Yes, it kind of just it's not like normal, so you have to write it down. She's like, I don't know. That's how I got a volunteer because she's like, I don't know oh, what this no. would be, and I just said what it was. You know, you know, like oh, like a four seven three. four seven or four mm-hmm. four seven or three u or whatever you know whatever it is. Yeah. And she's like, oh, great, you can do it. That's how it worked. And I was like, oh, no. 
And at first, I was like, I'm going to tell this bitch to fuck off. I'm not telling <laughs> tell me. I fucking paid this. I'm not going <laughs> to. But anyway, whatever. So, you know, I saw I was behind the, you know, doing the, I had to sit behind that, you know, the little wood box behind the plate because I was always the oh. official. I was the official scorekeeper for the game, not like just some scorekeeper, like the official one. I was like, fuck me. <clears throat> so. No, I, no, thanks. Yeah, yeah, we would do it. And there would be like calling. There'd be some kid down there. There'd be like call, you know, the coach would be like calling like, you know, fastball curveball. This motherfucker hasn't has, has walked like four consecutive people and they're calling pitches. If I was like, if I was the coach, I'd be like, hey, no more pitches. Just throw it right down the fucking middle. You kill it. You can't. <laughs> Let's do that. Here's one what first. pitch to throw. A strike. fucking strike. <laughs> Try it out. Try it out. I know. It's fucking crazy. It's too much. And I I didn't even have a vested interest in the team. And I was just there. And then my daughter's asking me all these things like, why does the catcher, why does he do this? And I'm like, you're calling blue, blue two play, but you have a left-handed catcher. Like, oh, that's the other, let's yeah, just that's... focus on getting the fundamentals right. I get this is all stars and it's very important, I'm sure. But do you need that level? Of, it's to me, it was like so, so ag- like such an aggressive way to. I see how kids are getting so burnt out burnt about. Out, yeah, yeah I, I all couldn't... over. And it's like, and this other thing, it's like they have all these stupid plays and, and things of that nature, but they can't even play catch. You know, it's like how many, they, you know, they have like. They have all these shifts yeah. and shit. Like it's like, coach, they can't even throw the fucking ball and catch the ball. So maybe we should start there first before we start doing blue wild sixty nine or something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's exactly my point. I would say literally, if you are a coach of a twelve and under, I wouldn't have any plays. I would just make sure that you could throw to first and get an out. And throw strikes, and you'll win eighty percent of the games you play. And don't even just because well, the other team can't balls. do that's that. The other, that's the other thing that pisses me off. They have them throw curveballs and shit. I'm like, don't on a ten year old, eleven year old arm. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> what for? Well, oh, everyone, no. Why don't you throw eighty percent strikes, and then we'll talk about getting yeah. you another pitch. Throw a fastball, change up. or change yeah, up yeah. or something. Two, yeah, yeah, two, there you go. two pitch, but curveball that's going to on a developing elbow that's going to destroy it. <sighs> Yeah, Tommy John surgery, like junior or high school. So that was that was the game, and it like it, I I didn't have a kid there, so it was even. I'm sure it would be even worse, but I was like getting anxious, just like watching all the trick plays and the shit that the players have to. And then at one point, the coach goes, "Hey, hey, Brad, hey, Brad," or whatever the kid's name, and the kid goes, "Oh, he like steps out of the box and look." He goes, "Go, go get him, go get him." He like doesn't give a sign. But he made him step out to yeah, look to take a sign. Broke and then his he tells concentration? Him to... Come on. That's, that's the amateur hour. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, that's, so, that's crazy. And all the yelling is, you know, it's like, you know, people get so pissed. It's like, you have money on this? Yeah. And the umpire is some, <laughs> you know. If your kids, kids don't win, if your kids' team don't win, is a booking or break your fucking knees after this or something? <laughs> Not seriously. And the umpires are, you know, it's a 16 year old kid and there's some, somebody's dad on the bases or whatever and you know like a play happens and the kid like barely like fucking sticks his neck out to look at what the play and he, he botched it of course because he wasn't yeah. in the right angle from an umpire and they're, they're like oh it's horrible I'm like what do you want this kid's making a fucking literally they're they're pulling a $20 bill off a here at Tubman and they're like here you go kid thanks for umping tonight and they give it to him That's and he's it. like sweet yeah go buy some that was the thing too, and they had like this. Yeah. There was be kids out there that were like thirteen, fourteen years old. It's like, and people are like, oh, this this horse shit. I'm like, he's fucking fourteen. He, his mom dropped him off. Give him a fucking break. <laughs> right, because you see him after the game. They're sitting on the fucking on the on the uh, benches there, waiting for their parents to come back to pick them up. Yeah, and they got jeans on and an umpire shirt that someone gave them, and they're chewing bubble gum. Yeah, you who's so critical, get off your fat ass and get behind the dish, then, buddy. Yeah. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So that's happening right now. But they had games going all day uh, down at the park. But it was a good time. And I was like, you want to play? She, no. Okay. I was like, you think Sonny wants to play? She goes, no. He would not like this. Oh. Oh. Spoken Tell me more. Why not? Enlighten me. I did ask her why she didn't want to play. 
I don't want to get hit in the eye by the ball like in Sandlot. Sandlot? We've been watching oh, a lot oh, of Sandlot okay, yeah. lately. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's why so, you have a big leather thing on your hand. Yeah, it's like, well, you got that glove. You just, you know, wave that thing in front of the ball and you'll get in there most of the time. Yeah. But, um, and then every kid had uh, some sort of arm, body armor, an elbow <laughs> oh, like thing, the very thing. Cheek- <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, you had to special order something like that from like Japan, and it would take two months yeah, to get from, there back from, when we were from, playing. Wasn't it from like East Bay or some shit like that? From yeah, the mag- from the magazine back when we. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mail order catalog. <laughs> yeah, by the time you got it, the baseball season would be over. You have to get it next. The year. baseball season yeah. would be over, and now they sell them at Walmart and Target. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you, so. you were lucky. Basically, the only the only thing we had was just batting gloves. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, you were lucky. And then, well, I don't know about everyone else's parents, but I was only allowed one pair a season because, uh, I mean, you know, if you wear them, yeah, they're, they're yeah. going to just rip right through. And especially if you're buying the, you know, the five ninety nine ones, the, Frank- the $30 the Franklin, ones. The Franklins yeah, from uh, Walmart, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, but you, the ones you wanted were the, the cool Ken Griffey ones or the yeah, ones that Chipper yeah. Jones had or whatever. And those were, those were definitely premium. Yeah. Those are, those are nice ones. And those weren't at Walmart. Those weren't at Wally World. Those are at, uh, Big Five. Special. <laughs> Big Five. Bases Loaded. That, oh, yeah. That's is that right. Bases Base Loaded store still, uh, it's not, up in your neck of the woods? No, they moved it down towards, uh, Rancho Cordova. So they moved down 50 a little bit. Okay. That store was like the equivalent of like a, a fucking wet dream for me when I was they had 12 all stuff. to they had 60. Awesome they bitch. had every baseball thing. It was like, oh. And you had no, like, there was shit I didn't even know existed. I was like, what the hell? This is cool. Like, they have cleats with metal on them? Wow. <laughs> like, I can't, my parents will never buy me anything. <laughs> but I want everything. <laughs> Uh, Charlie's like, well, why are they all wearing white pants? It's like, well, gray is usually for the road team, but because these are kids, the parents only want to buy a uniform. She goes, yeah, but they get so much dirtier. I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. that's a good point. I think I was, uh, I think it was with Jeffrey's team where the where the coach put it up to a vote. Uh, you know, oh. do we want gray or white pants? And I love all the moms said gray. <laughs> yeah, said, gray, gray it is. <laughs> gray it is. <clears throat> but these uniforms, I mean, granted, they were all-stars. They had, they all had some sort of special sock, like a specially designed sock. That's like, not like just your navy or whatever. It was like white, red, navy, white. It had all these alternating uh, okay. stripes. Yeah. Then they their pants had special pinstripes that matched their uniforms. And then they all had hats and stuff. That were all, you know, it was a good kit. Like it was, you know, they were looking sharp out there. Um, huh. But yeah, and we we actually lasted they a all, few. They, um, they all have wristbands minutes. with the plays on the side. Of them. <laughs> yeah, they did. And then the catcher, yeah. Oh, so, and the pitcher, you know, throws six balls in a row. I'm like, why are we so concerned with with uh, signs? I know that, that's what I don't just. And then one kid got on, and he kind of was lollygagging. And so uh, I'm like, oh, man, if I was playing, this guy's super easy to backpick because he was one of these after his secondary lead. So after the pitch is thrown, you kind of take another couple hops to seconds mm-hmm. to be ready if if they hit it, and you could go, you have a little bit, a couple extra steps, a head start, if you will. But then he put his head down and mope it I mean, back yep, to first that's base. That's put his head down. Easy and out. Easy out. Same kid gets to second. And there's some pass ball. He's running to third. The entire fucking time he's running 60 feet from second to third, he's just staring at the catcher no, as he's running. Like no. I'm like, he's out. He's going to get thrown out. Sure enough. And the umpire is standing behind the whole situation, so we can't even see where the glove or the play is. But oh, he called no. him out. The whole thing was a clusterfuck. But I saw this guy lollygag, and he takes his helmet off all pissed. I'm, I almost wanted to shout at him. Quit looking the fucking... <laughs> Yeah. Run, look, motherfucker! Look at there. Look at the player. The, the run. The fielder will tell you what's going to happen. He, he puts his glove up. It's coming. <clears throat> you have a base coach, run too. as hard as you fucking can, and then slide. Yeah. That's how you go get there. Everybody in front of you will tell you what's happening. Yeah. And then uh, I, it does seem 
do you remember this? Uh, I hated this shit. This would this only happens in like twelve and under little league, is when they put the bunt out and they kind of like, oh, yeah. ooh, they like wiggle yeah. it around and then they pull it back. <laughs> yeah, like it's a that's wand. illegal now, from my understanding. Oh, it is. You can't do that because when they did the bunt, the third baseman comes in and the guy pulled back and the the kid uh, was. They caught him in the tooth. Kind of the kid was does. like thirty feet, thirty five, maybe forty feet away. I'm like, if that kid turns on it and hits it to third, he's that kid's dying. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. So, and then the and then the other team was like, "Oh, no slashes." And then the coach is like, "No slash." And the umpire is standing there like having a conversation when the when the play is happening. He's like, "Well, it's the 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 16-year-old kid is trying to explain it to him to oh, the coaches." Oh, and they're okay. like I'm like nothing is going to come of this. No. So no why you should, you should, you should raise your blood pressure. Yeah. So what I learned from this whole experience is that uh, I probably am going to be one of those parents that needs to sit along the sideline because it's just going to be too much for me to deal with. It, yeah. If, it, I mean. if I even can be there. And I'm, I can't coach. I can't do any of that stuff because it's bad for the ticker, I think. It is. It is. <laughs> it's not you, always get, you, always see, you, know, you always get some clowns, kids out there too, doing some stupid shit. Like, oh my God. And you can't put hands on them because they're not your kids. No. So... Ground balls are extra, extra hot coming in. At you extra guys. spicy. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready, little fucker. Here you go, little fucker. Line drive. One up. Off the face. Oh, walk it off. <clears throat> well, I think we did a pretty good job this week, Cerny, but the, the Cerny Slits and the Chipmunks know next week's show will have the results of the third annual Dilly Dilly Pickle Off, Fourth of July Pickle Off. Uh huh. Uh huh. I better go buy my supplies to get me started. Too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's be, also a chance I come empty-handed. There's there's a high possibility, or we're gonna crack it open live. So I have no yes. idea. <laughs> that that's how I did it. Dare to be great. Dare to be great. Ah, uh, I'm. Uh, maybe we get a. It would be funny to bring a jar of, like Velasics and just put just like, <laughs> peel the label off, you know, with like the green nu- nuclear water yeah, in there, yeah, yeah. and see what anybody says. <laughs> just like put a piece of uh, painter's tape over it and just write CERN. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, it, you I would, uh, you, you and I would be laughing, but Joe would be incensed. He would try like maybe he, he would, would probably send us home. <laughs> yeah. We probably get banned from the from the yeah. contest. He wouldn't let it have it anymore. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Well, another week. We did it. Fourth of July coming up. So if you celebrate uh, America's independence, uh, we'll be uh, celebrating with you on Monday. Monday. And then Tuesday will no doubt be a drag at work. Yes, it will. I've never, I'm already. I'm already. We probably should have PTO'd preemptively. PTO'd that, but. Oh well. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. learn. It'll be like a a PTO, but you'll just be there. (laughs) (laughs) An in-chair mental PTO day of sorts, if you will. I'll answer my email sometimes, sometimes not. Maybe get to a couple slacks. We'll see what happens. It might get crazy. Who knows? Uh, Don't forget, make sure you're not firing fireworks off in your fucking hands or doing shit that we did when we were dumb. Yeah. Keep all your fingers this Fourth of July. Uh, don't don't drink and drive, and uh, stay horny. <laughs> and <it was> kind of- <laughs> you'll have yourself a good Fourth of July. Till next good. time, I'm Chip. I'm Sir. Cheers. <laughs>